Well, hi, everybody. This is the second session of Drake State's College and Career Convos. And today, we're talking with engineering design instructor, Brett Ellis, about his engineering design program. And then he's also got another program called Frontiers Research um, Program that uh, he's gonna tell us a little bit about, about also. So just as a reminder, we're doing these program highlights every week for the next several weeks. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays at noon, we'll be live on Facebook with instructors from the programs that we're highlighting that week. You can go back to the Facebook event program or uh, the Facebook event page on our Facebook page and see the updated schedule about which programs will be highlighted on each day. So with that, Brett, thanks for joining us today. And can you tell us a little bit about the engineering design program? What is engineering design? All right, so that's a good question. Engineering design is a process that engineers use to come up with ways uh, to find solution to everyday, solutions to everyday problems, as well as create new ideas and designs to improve on modern day uh, innovations and technologies. So that is what engineering design is as a definition. Um, I am ex an example of what this program can do. Um, I went through this program myself. Um, it's a very exciting and growing program. Um, we have a lot of opportunities such as the Frontiers Project, which I'm gonna discuss a little bit. We incorporate the latest 3D printing technology and we use industry standard um, CAD software such as SolidWorks and AutoCAD for your assignments and tasks. So can you tell us a little bit about what kind of careers would be available to students who complete this program? There are a lot of opportunities. Um, speaking from my experience, I've been kind of all over the place. I've been in military defense, I've been in uh, corrugated packaging, as well as home decor. There are a lot of opportunities in a wide array of fields for you to uh, uh, start your career in. So what kinds of tasks would uh, students be doing in some of those careers? What would, what would their job responsibilities be? Some of the job responsibilities would be creating drawings for um, any, if you're in a manufacturing uh, facility, um, creating drawings for the production floor so that they have what they need and all the information they need to create the product that they are producing. Um, some other objectives and other tasks would be to create complex assemblies um, and it can even go as far as creating a, a, for example, I created a fixture for a CNC machine and one of my responsibilities at the time was to not only create the assembly but to show it coming apart. That's what we call exploding view and it collapsing and creating motion study videos and developing visuals on how it would work once the design is complete. So there's a lot of uh, opportunities for, even by the graphic standpoint with this degree as well. So um, what kind of equipment or software would students be using both in your lab here and when they get out into the workforce? Uh, in this classroom, we use SolidWorks. Um, outside, um, once you graduate, you can come across software such as AutoCAD, um, Solid Edge, Katia, uh, Autodesk 360, uh, Fusion 360. There's a lot of um, actually new and upcoming CAD software as well, depending on the company that you end up working for. And then, so what about some of the equipment that's used, like the 3D printers? The 3D printers that are used, a lot of people are moving towards the SLA printers, which is a more resin-based material for prototyping. Um, but it's common, if there are 3D, pro, uh, 3D printing prototypes, prototyping, um, it is common to use uh, what we call filament-based printers. So that's the more common consumer-based 3D printer. And students in your classes have the opportunity to work with some of these 3D printers. That's right. We actually had a class uh, just this past spring where the students used SOLIDWORKS that I just mentioned and 3D printing technology to design and 3D print a rocket that we ended up launching 
um, back in back in April, and it was a blast. We loved doing it, and the students gained a lot from that activity. So, speaking of students and opportunities in the engineering design program, tell us a little bit about the Frontiers Research Program. The Frontiers Research Program is a very exciting program that we're taking part in. Um, this is a partnership that we are awarded. We are the first HBC to be rewarded with this partnership. And what we are doing is we are bringing on two interns to, right now we're coming up with a design for a fiber pulling machine. And what we're doing is we're pretty much replicating Regolith that's on the moon for testing and simulation so that way we can further give NASA further opportunity to, for, let me rephrase, to give them further opportunities for exploration. So the research and the testing that uh, the faculty and student interns in the Frontiers Research Program, mm -hmm. um, that research and testing is used to support some missions that NASA has uh, for uh, uh, constructing things on the moon. That's right. And what we're doing is we're helping NASA to push towards coming up with ideas and concepts for potential habitat on the moon that has not been, that not many people have touched on before. And it's a huge honor and, and I'm really excited personally for this opportunity with Drake to take part in this project. Well, it's a great opportunity for students and I think it's also uh, something though that when these innovations evolve from uh, the research that's being done, uh, there will be applications that can be used here on Earth, too. That's right. Okay, well, thanks for sharing about Frontiers Research Program. Tell us a little bit about um, the classes that you have in the Engineering Design Program. What kind of classes can students register for? A lot of the classes I offer are CAD-based. Um, so we, as, as far as the fall goes, we have a lot of we have a couple of introductory CAD courses that kind of get your feet wet with CAD and how to interpret blueprint drawing. And we also offer some more advanced courses, such as one that I have fun with, it's called reverse engineering, where you're essentially taking a design and you're reverse engineering it to make it a better, more better functioning, better quality design. Okay, well, great. So if someone who's watching this has some questions about the engineering design program and how to get involved at Drake State, how can they get in touch with you? They can um, send me an email at john.ellis at drakestate.edu or call a school and ask for Brett Ellis and they will send you my way. All right. Anything else you want to share? Um, if you would like, I can show you some of the printers that we have in the lab right now. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so this is, we have two form lab printers and we're getting more um, 3D printers over the next few months. But these are what we use more right now because this is more modern, this is what everybody is using right now. And this is a resin-based printer. So what that allows us to do instead of what you typically find in consumer um, 3D printers, which is more filament plastic based, I mean, it's all plastic, but the more harder plastic, what we're doing is creating a more durable part. And the resin allows you, it's probably hard to see on the phone, but you can see some very fine details to these parts that we 3D printed. So having that ability to have a three, uh, resin 3D printer gives you opportunities to be more detail oriented with your models so you can get as intricate as you like and this is a result of that printer at work and this is the rocket that you and the students from that, spring semester yes ma'am that is the rocket this is and the it's rocket. a working rocket it is a working rocket we can go launch it right now <laughs> <laughs> maybe next time that's right all right well thank you for showing us around and um if anyone out there is interested in learning more about the engineering design program, get in touch with Brett, or you can message us on Facebook, and we will make sure you get connected. Thank you. Thank you.